Good morning. Miss Stacy Jo here, Indecisive Gardener. I uh, am just waking up, and excuse me, cause yeah, I, <sighs> I'm still drinking my coffee. So, let's see. <laughs> so today, I'm thinking, I'm gonna go over my seeds. My goal, I've decided my goal this year is to use up some of the older seeds. If they germinate, they do, cool. If they don't, they don't. So we're gonna go over the seeds and see which one are older, and then see which ones I want to replace. And also, I'm gonna show off my catalogs, my seed catalogs, and uh, probably order some sweet potatoes, and some russets. I think that will be the goal today. I also have some packets I need to open and we'll see what they are, because I don't remember. <laughs> A dog sniffer just amazes me. I discovered these through YouTube a few years back. I like little suitcases and they have little compartments of so I can organize my seeds. And you get these at any like Walgreens or places where they they print photos. Or office supply. And we're gonna stick with the spring winter seeds. You'll see I put all my pretty little stickers on here. This one was made from my daughter-in-law, Chelsea. She is such the artist. And the rest I've gotten from Greenstock and from Roots and Refuge. <laughs> I love this one. Absolutely radishing. So cute. We have spinach, carrots, kale, cabbage, radishes, peas, onions, chard, um, celery, broccoli, beets, leafy greens, and herbs. I have an overabundance of cabbages, so we're going to start there. Take this down first. Move these aside a little bit. Okay. So, Seed Saver Exchange. Been, <laughs> whoops, sowing their seeds for a while now, several years. Um, here is territorial, so I got a few of those. We just got to figure out the dates they're on these. I have hoss tools. I even have gurneys. And uh, I have the catalog. I know these aren't the little guy, the uh, smaller businesses, but I will be buying my potatoes and sweet potatoes from them. I do like to support the little guy, the mom and pop businesses. However, Gurney's has been around since, I believe, 1866. They are based in Ohio, and I trust them and I don't want to encourage people not to buy from a company just because they are a large company that is your choice so here is it's called rattle free um, I haven't used these seeds in like two or three years so sorry about all the noise there is a garbage truck out front and there is the clock anyway yes I have not been using these seeds so I need to start using them um, and I think I'm going to 
sew a lot of them directly into the ground this year. Even though it stays cold up into late spring, around, you know, here in the Pacific Northwest, um, at least in the Got last few years, <laughs> I used to sow seeds on May 1st. It was tradition, and I can't do that anymore because our weather is just, well, changing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use up and sew directly. It's an experiment. Um, also, I will be sowing seeds inside too. So I will start my starts under a grow light in my office. <laughs> if you've watched my videos in the past, you'll see that I set up a, this uh, shelving system, little greenhouses in my office, and uh, it worked out quite well last year. The only complaint I have is having potting soil in the house. Sometimes you do get gnats so that is a concern if you're worried about starting indoors. Um, I personally just put up strips, those fly strips, and uh, it seems to work and it stays away from the plants. So I would still consider Haas as a smaller business. Um, and same with Territorial and I really want to support them. Then Gurney's, which is a bigger business that everybody knows because, well, everybody knows Gurney's, right? This company is a brand that we sell where I work. Um, they are a lot cheaper than your typical seed packet. I mean, these can be up to $5. These are up to $2 like the good old days. And you, you can get this brand in organic. So these aren't, but yeah, we're just gonna, probably won't use Brussels sprouts, probably won't sow them because I had a bad problem with aphids one year due to the Brussels sprouts. So I may not do that. They sure attract them. Baker's Creek, definitely gotta use up some of these. Got a lot of Baker's Creek. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so these seeds, I would say, are probably about eight, seven years old now. Uh, I'm just gonna like totally use them all up. Um, hmm. Decisions. I should just use them all. But I'll look at the dates. I only have so much room in my backyard garden, you know? So. Why do I have all these seeds? Well, because I'm addicted. <laughs> I love looking through the catalogs and going online and ordering to my heart's content. Um, I will spend over $100 a whack at every company on seeds. I really need to stop doing that and use up what I have. <laughs> it says package for year 2020. So I'll just put that in a pile of 2020s, do a pile of 2021, and so on. Looks like I got smart in 2022 and wrote them on the front. Where do you keep your date? Ah, I see it now that I'm editing and can zoom in. That's upside down. <laughs> and so on and so on. Okay, so now that I have my choices, um, I got them sorted out. Let's see what uh, types of cabbages they are. So we have Rattle Free. It's a Copenhagen Market cabbage. Yeah. Oh, okay. So these are good. They get a little, I would say medium to large. Not huge. That I can remember. So I could definitely use these. Oh, and that is full. We're gonna do the best we can. Actually, with older seeds, they do lose germination rate over time. So 
you just sew more than usual and you know um not all of them are going to come up so yeah i can i can sew a lot of them i decided to succession sew with all these seeds and okay so this one is a red acre so it's a red cabbage and uh these are normally about medium size that's good uh, red cabbage I like to use I actually like to make sauerkraut out of so it gives it a fun color oh my goodness okay so this poor little guy if I remember right they did not work out for me it's a not a bok choy but a pok choy cabbage we're just gonna use them up if they don't come up I don't care I'm gonna succession sew anyway so what doesn't come up I will replace later okay here is seed saver exchange um, it's a late flat Dutch and if I remember right these get pretty big I had a pride and joy a couple years ago from this packet so can't wait on this one this kind I like to make in soups ice or um, or bakes even uh, in the soup I have this mountain soup that I make that is really good I use up for it and then the the bakes I just use a cookie sheet and slice up veggies and meat and drizzle it with whatever sauce I want and bake them and it's quite healthy and better for you to do that than frying all the time these three piles are the ones I'm going to be using this next coming year in 2024 okay let's push that aside let's see what's in the packages now okay Mm-hmm. Coffee from Bilia. Bilia. How does she pronounce that? Anyway, it's coffee from Jessica Sowards of Roots and Refuge. I have bought some and I love it. Thank you, Jess. What did Mama buy herself now? Sometimes you just got to spoil yourself. Okay. Looks like a blouse. A blouse for work. <laughs> okay. Let's take it out so you can see it. Oh, look at this. It's got little lace on the bottom. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I'll show you a close up. I love detail like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, new blouse for work. <laughs> love the color too. It's like a blue tone red. I look better in blue tone than red tone. Fire into red doesn't look good on me. But this does. I love it. <laughs> oh, another Toby Dog book. So this is from um, Goshaw Farm. He wrote a child's book. I have a grandson. And I already bought one and gave it to him and his mama for Christmas. But I wanted one for me. I know it's a children's book, but I really want to support the guy. And that is Goldshaw Farms. Anyway, thank you. Stop. It's the neighbor. You don't have to be billy aching all the time that there's noise outside. Yeah, it's not like you're a German Shepherd now. Your job is to be loving and playful. 
let's um, go over the catalogs. Okay, Gurney's, Baker Creek, um, oh, my garden planner. This is a must have. Seed Savers Exchange. Siskiyou Seeds. So pretty. Okay, Territorial Seed Company. Cute little picture on the front. However, Oh, it does have the pictures inside. One of these doesn't have the pictures inside. Which one is it? This, no, they got at least flowers. Just flowers, okay. Um, I know there's more than flowers in there. This has pictures. Sorry, I'm a visual person and I love this catalog here because I'm a visual person. cherries. That is one thing I won't be growing this year. Maybe as a filler here and there just to cover up the ground so we don't get as many weeds but um they yeah they spread out pretty far. They they get big. They take up a lot of real estate. Um I mean I could do it in canisters I guess I could. Look at that beauty. Hollyhock. I love those. Those are dark and emo. <laughs> I love that look. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, stop, Stacy. Although, you know what? Huckleberries. I could use another huckleberry plant. Just thinking. Maybe I'll go to a nursery for that. I mean, look at the thought that was put into these photos Baker's Creek really does a great job then of course there's there's the good old gurneys really she's dreaming now we're going to see what else I have for seeds. Of course, kale. Gotta love me some kale. And we're going to do spinach this year. Carrots. Um, really don't have much luck with carrots, but we're going to, we'll just use it as a filler. Radishes, of course. I love radishes. Peas. Peas are one of the most beautiful plants ever. I believe in the vegetable garden. Um, they are just so magical. I know I use that word a lot, but they are truly magical. Onions, I'm probably not going to grow. I don't have much luck with those. Chard, I have lots of luck with those. They are very hardy. Love my climate. As for herbs in the spring, cilantro. Cilantro will be a winner. Leafy greens. I, my climate's so weird. My climate, either it's too cold or it's too hot. And when it's cold, all the slugs come out. And when it's hot, they bolt. So I'm having a really hard time with lettuce. Um, but try, try again. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna use this bag that the blouse came in to uh, put all the seed packets that I will be using this year. Keep it organized. That would be a good thing for me. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's do this. Alright. <sighs> so, this is a thing. 
We have a problem. Seeds have spilled and I do not know if they're from 2020, 21. It is charred. So at least I know that. I don't know if they're older, so we're just going to sell them anyway. Just the neighbor across the street. Yeah. You're okay. We're okay. You don't have to protect us. She's like, yeah, I do. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I found seeds from 2015. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I found the variety of kale that did not make it through the ice storm. When it thawed, it became really slimy and it disintegrated. However, the other kales are alive and kicking with new growth to boot. So I have them in alphabetical order now. And uh, you'll see here, I'm missing one. And the cilantro are going in the freezer. Now why would I do that? It's called cold stratification and that is a survival mechanism that plants have to make sure they don't germinate early. So you'll either put them in the freezer or direct sow them in early spring and hopefully they will germinate when they need to. And I'll just put these right here. I should have more seeds in here somewhere. I'll have to dig for them. Mm, nope. Yeah, I, I need to organize this too. And clean it out. We have these seeds here. This whole big bag. Freedom wants to get into the action like mom I want a treat can I have a treat mom please <laughs> okay so big bag full of seeds and this spring this is all just spring I'm gonna plant these either direct or in the makeshift greenhouse and our grow light in one office. So, excuse the noise in the background. Um, this house is really loud. I have the fish tanks. I have the rattling of this. I have the dishwasher going um, and dogs walking around, you know, clankety clanky. So, um, they love to run up and down the stairs and going in and out of the doggy door, so excuse all the noise. So during the editing of this video, I'm realizing how redundant I have become. <laughs> I have already gone over some of these seeds and I'm just repeating myself. It's not necessary. Basically, I'm just going over deciding which years and which varieties of each and every single type of seed I have is going to go into the ground and which is going to go into the greenhouse upstairs in the office. This video is already getting too long, so we're going to try to wrap this up. So I forgot to film a closing. I'm so sorry. I truly appreciate you. So, okay. If we must, remember to plant kindness, to grow love. God bless and have an awesome day. See ya.